Welcome to Fire Virgo Tarot. I am a tarot reader and intuitive. Shout out to all my lovely Fire Virgos. Remember, I told you I'm going to be hopping around, so get used to different environments, but know I'm coming with that same fire. Now, Virgo, right before I hop into this, I feel like you're going to have a decision to make, right? So I'm speaking to a Virgo who has easily healed from the past. You're letting some things go. You're letting bygones be bygones. And with the seven of cups, it's like, you're really thinking about other options here. Now, Virg, I do want to say there are some good contenders amongst this. However, do not be beguiled. Okay. Cause there's a lot of wolves and sheep's clothing out here. So I feel like there's an energy with you where you're like, Oh, like I really like this new energy that you're stepping into. I don't know if you're, um, if you're in a place where you're having a new environment, but I feel like it's cause it's causing people to want to contact you more, much more alluring Virg. I just love this energy that you're emitting. Cause we have a message here and I feel like there's one person in particular, right? There's one person in particular that you don't really like, you don't really, you can't really make them out yet. You see how this one option is like covered up and it's like, mm, I wonder what's under that. Is it good? Is it bad? Like you're just very curious about it. And I feel like I'm getting that same energy from them because with construction, I feel like this person really does want to build something or they want to at least see where this can go. So I'm going to uh, get your energy on this and then I want to get this person's energy toward you. So what do we have spirit for my Virgo? What do we have here for my lovely Virgo? This is the energy that we need to be going into 23 with, Virg. I like this. Let me know down below if this is you. Okay, first card out. Yes. <laughs> Virgo said, indeed. <laughs> Queen of Pentacles, this is your energy. So I feel like, Virg, you've done a lot of focusing. I just got on like finances, stability, really thinking long term. Some of you guys are making lists, checking it twice, <laughs> figuring out who's been naughty or nice. Like that's the type of energy that this Queen of Pentacles has where... You're feeling more confident in who you are, what you have to offer, what you have to bring. I also get, Berg, that you're taking a lot of responsibility for past relationships or things that have gone wrong or well. Okay, so that way you have more, um, it's like you're going into this new phase in your, of your life much more prepared. I love this. So I feel like, Berg, also because you're so in your energy is why you're attracting this person, what's making you so attractive to them. Okay, give me more. Yeah, <laughs> the devil bird. Okay, could be dealing with a Capricorn, heavy Capricorn energy here. Um, I'm getting that with this person. The fact that you, it's almost like because you're so focused on yourself, it's what's making you more attracted to, making you more attracted to them. So for example, like you're like, no, I need to get my shit together. I need to do this. But then you have somebody here who you try to ignore, Virg, but the attachment or the, like the draw toward this person is what I'm getting feels so strong, feels so heavy here. And I feel like you try to ignore it. Why are you ignoring this, Virg? Let it happen. What is this? What is Virgo trying to... <laughs> Virgo, is, are you trying to ignore a tower moment? But I feel like it's a good tower though. Yeah, it's one of them options you got here. What is this? What is the Virgo trying to avoid here? Or ignore... Uh, not spirit is like listen and here's the divine card spirit is here right so with temperance i feel like this is divinely orchestrated i was getting that in one of um leo's readings so if you have that in your chart go check that out i'm not sure which one it was but um which are ignoring the ten of pentacles but i know good and goddamn well we are not ignoring our ten of pentacles our forever energy long-term energy because remember the queen of pentacles is the feminine in the ten of pentacles card here so i feel like by you trying to focus on yourself yes it's drawing this in but Virg, i'm gonna need you to take a peek over here okay so give me more okay yeah the seven of wands popped out so i feel like virgo you were so used to like fighting or, or having some level of competition that you just completely say you know what i'm focusing on me and anything that comes to me i'm letting everything come to me i'm not forcing shit i'm not doing anything that's making me feel like i gotta put my neck on the line this is all like very attractive energy virg but remember not every tower is bad okay so you may be thinking because somebody new or someone is um you're not quite sure of them that it could be a negative thing because of your past but what i'm getting with the ten of pentacles is like you're in a place where you're attracting your your forever energy so allow yourself to lean into that okay okay how is virgo going to move forward with this and then i'm going to get your person's energy how is virgo going to move forward with this spirit how is virgo moving forward with this okay the ten of wands <laughs> 
So it's like it's going to be a struggle, okay? But the Virgo's going to do it. You're almost there, Virg. Why does it feel like such a struggle to you, though? Something about the 17th is significant. Okay, King of Wands. Okay, because obviously love has been hurtful before, right? Something has definitely hurt you. So it looks like more moving out of fear sometimes, Virg, because of the past. But I feel like it's like this last bit of hurdle before you get to this really dope fire energy, right? They, they are a king or they are a divine counterpart in that way where you guys match queen and king energy. And I feel like, I feel like this is really good. Okay. I really, I really am liking this energy. Let me get how they're feeling toward you. Cause I feel like they're wanting to send you some sort of message. You may not even follow them on social media. You guys might not know each other that well yet. Um, but let's see, what is this person's energy toward my Virgo? What is this person's energy toward my Virgo? Okay, King of Swords. Wow. So you might have your eye on a fire sign, but this air sign has their eye on you. This could also be the same person. Somebody who comes off very serious. Damn, Virg. Not the King of Swords, King of Pentacles, King of Wands. So this is what I'm saying. You have options. I feel like you're more focused. The fire sign or the one with the fiery personality stresses you out the most because I think you... You feel more most most drawn to that energy right now this could be the same person bear in mind all right but i feel like for them they're the way that they're feeling toward you with this king of swords energy they're very serious about you berg yeah they're very serious about you i feel like sometimes when you're with them you like you don't engage them too much or you don't indulge them you're just really really self-focused okay give me more what is this why is the king of swords here Okay, four of wands, bottom of that queen of pentacles. Okay, so the king of swords popped up in your lovely life, Virg, because they're looking at you as something long-term. Now, the four of wands is like a halfway to marriage card, right? Like, not completely there, but it's like we're, we, I want to see at least if we can get there, right, Virg? So I feel like that's where that construction energy comes from. Your person could also build. Okay, whether it's building businesses, building like actual structures, but with the four of wands, I definitely see this person looking at you in a more serious light. Okay, so let's let's get more. Why is this person seeing my Virgo as the four of wands? And I also feel like that's why this person has become a bit obsessive over you too, because it's like, ooh, like I just love the Virgo, like something about you, Virg. Okay, yeah, Eight of Cups. I feel like they've been longing for this type of connection, been really looking for it with the Eight of Cups. They've been searching for this for a minute. All right, and with the Magician, they may not tell you this, but they feel like they've, they're have they powerful enough to like manifest you or it's like, no, that's the kind of person that I want. When I met Virgo, I knew that she had something in her. He had something in him that made me feel really, really drawn, right? Because if you see how this person is walking toward that sun. It's like, that's toward healing. That's toward happiness. This person is guided and drawn toward you. Okay, what makes this person feel so... But, okay, all right, what is this? I knew it. I was staring at the tower and the tower comes right out. So, the, oh, thank you, spirit. So, I was going to say, like, this person feels like they're walking toward a tower moment, Virg, and you feel like you're trying to avoid one, right? But it's like a good tower. I feel like this person could... Some like I feel like they show interest here, Virg, but they're also they just come off serious. They just have a very serious exterior, serious demeanor. So sometimes you can't really read them well. But I don't think they necessarily give you a reason to think like uh, they're not interested. I don't think that's their energy at all. Okay, I feel like they're actually willing to bring this on, but they're just as nervous as you. But you, Virg, you're like, listen, I'm gonna focus on me in the meantime. And this person's like, well, I'm gonna just walk toward this tower. <laughs> what is this? Okay, yeah, they feel like the towers are nine of cups. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's not a negative thing at all. You could be dealing with a scorpion. Okay, I feel like this person, they feel also like they're walking toward wish fulfillment, right? We have the eight of cups and the nine of cups. This is the next step. They feel like they're doing what they need to do to walk toward the happiness, even though it's fearful or even though it's scary for them, right? So I'm definitely getting the energy here, Virgo, where... Your person is not scared. Like, they're not, they're, they're nervous, I should say, but they're not timid like they're not gonna let this opportunity pass them by just because of fear whereas you Virgo, like you just you can go days with, with ignoring this person or you're just not really you seem disinterested in some ways what is this what is this energy you got Virg? let me see this okay the high, yeah you're just quiet you're listening to your intuition all right the king of cups wanted to pop out you could be still thinking about an ex or thinking about somebody that you loved Okay, so you're like, yeah, no, I'm not really into it or, 
yeah, I'll text them back when I can, but right now I'm not really feeling it. Like, that's the type of energy you have here, Berg. Okay. But I like this person, though. They seem like, um, they seem dope. They don't, they don't carry a clown energy to them. Yeah, and they, and they look at you properly. They see you how you see yourself, which I think is a beautiful thing. And I feel like this person, they also like, um, although they could be hard to read or like hard to read for you, Virg, in the same token, they also don't really hold back, okay? I don't feel like they hold their emotions back from you or their energy back from you. The way that they express their emotions is through their mind, is through the way that they speak, right? They could be like a, um, a sapiosexual, just very, very turned on by intellect, really stimulate, stimulating uh, conversations here. But Virg, do you see this? How like you are their nine of cups? Like when they think about you, they're just like, oh my God, the Virgo is so amazing. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Let me get more for my black deck. Give me more on this person's energy toward my lovely Virgo. Give me more on this person's energy here. Okay. I'm also getting very, like, this person could be, um, I don't know why I'm getting a party scene, and, like, I just feel like sometimes, like, women, especially if I'm talking to the divine feminine right now, could throw themselves at your person, and they don't pay them no mind, no mind, okay, I don't know why, I don't know if that was an important message for some of you guys, but, okay, let's get more, coffee cup. Okay, so this is talking about meeting, conversing, feeling uplifted. This also talks about the beginning of something, like a friendship. So I feel like, yeah, like with construction, your person is trying to build with you. It's coming off friendly, though. It's coming off like um, platonic. Okay, but I feel like there's also, yeah, <laughs> I was going to say there's also that energy where both of you guys can feel the evolution of this. And I say that because the butterfly literally talks about relationship changing to the next phase, right? So we literally go from friends to this relationship evolving, this relationship becoming more. And I feel like that's something that you two are trying to like play it cool about, but it's like an understated thing. Like, okay, yeah, me and you are moving forward. Yes, yes. Okay, cool. But we're not going to say shit. Okay. Now, what's also interesting is that we pulled the butterfly card for how this relationship is evolving and the tower is has a bunch of butterflies around it so i feel like something beautiful is coming out of this um tower or something beautiful is coming out of this unexpected like meetup or this exchange between you two give me more give me more here spirit what is how is this relationship evolving how is this relationship evolving with virgo and this person okay the sword of rose Okay, so this talks about solidarity, clarity, truth. I feel like you and your person, or whatever this is here, Virg, are gonna become are gonna come to a place where it's like, let's put the truth out there. I'm really feeling you, you're really feeling me, now was good type energy. Because when the tower comes, you can't hide shit, right? Like if the tower you could build a, a beautiful tower on top of whatever, but once that tower comes down, you're gonna see the true essence of what was under that, right? So I feel like the tower comes to bring clarity. This this tower is coming to bring some sort of truth and revelation. Okay, so again, like this is a really good, this like these towers, you got two, like one for you, one for your person. These towers are bringing some much, much needed change here. Yeah, okay. Okay, yeah, Ver, because I feel like uh, you could have been heartbroken or still like grieving something from the past, but you're letting it go. You feel like you need to make a healthy choice. Okay, because something in your past was just simply not enough. You were frustrated. So I feel like that's also why this would be very, this would be a tower moment for you because this is not something you would you would necessarily go out and seek. Yes, you want love, but you're also not seeking it, if that makes sense. Okay, give me one more. Give me one more here, spirit. Okay, I'll take two. All right, so girl talk. So yeah, Virg. So I feel like, again, something you're healing from because with uh, girl talk that talks about, or guy talk, shout out to my divine masculine. This talks about spending time with friends, being single, being happy and moving on. But Virg, I feel like the thing is, you've already put yourself, male or female does not matter, in a very committal energy, even if you're single, right? So people are picking up on that energy. Hence why this engagement ring is definitely coming up because this talks about, Again, going to higher commitment and having an actual union with someone here. I feel like you you haven't like had um, 
I just got like, even with your past person, right? And I'm also picking up that this past person could have been a fire sign. You didn't have solidarity with that person. You never felt like one with that person. It always felt like you against them or maybe we will be, maybe we won't be type energy. And I feel like that was always really like off-putting for you. Okay, so I'm going to get a couple more here. And then I want to go into the extended verb. Okay, yeah, of course you do. All right, we have I like control. So I feel like this is both you and your person where it's like you want to control how this goes. They want to control how this goes. But this tower is like, nah, ain't no such thing. You guys are going to meet up. OK, there's no more you able to manipulate anything, Berg. All right. But with all action, I feel like there's going to be a lot of things that are more seen rather than spoken about. Like this person is more about action rather than words. OK, so. Berg, I'm going to go into the extended. I'm going to flip these cards over. I want to get this person's next steps toward you. I want to get how they're truly feeling that they're not telling you as well as the outcome with the situation. So if you are interested, everything is down below in the description to the extended. See you in a minute, Berg.